Hello, you're watching Guitar 101 Rammstein, and in this video I'm doing a review that I've been waiting a long time to do. Um, I just got this guitar yesterday. It's a guitar by JN Guitars, a company out of Belgium. And this is the Elijah A model. Uh, a stands for auditorium, which is the body shape. A little bit smaller on the sides here than like a dreadnought shape. Um, they do have dreadnought as well on the same model. I opted for the auditorium just because I have some dreadnoughts and um, this is kind of, I found it much more comfortable for finger picking as well. Um, so, JN Guitars is a fairly unknown brand. There are a few reviews of them you can find and most of the reviews I found were good. I came across them uh, about a year and a half ago. Um, I got a gift for Christmas that was a JN Guitars uh, four string cigar box guitar. I'd never heard of them. Um, but I was really impressed with the instrument. I really liked it. I contacted the company because I had a couple questions like about the string gauge and stuff like that. And the guy wrote back. It was really nice. Uh, we kept in touch. I sent him a couple of videos I did of his, of their uh, cigar box guitar. And uh, he really liked it. And we talked a bit and discussed a kind of deal. Um, he offered me an instrument in exchange to do a little bit of promotion for him. And that was like the very beginning of 2020, right when things started to go south. So right as the contract was being worked out, their company had to close because of Corona, their, well, their, their warehouse did or their shop did. So they weren't able to send it. And I don't know, about a month ago, I got back in touch with them to see how things are going. And we got it happening and I finally got this one in. Um, right out of the box, I have to say it plays very nice. There's a couple things we're going to go over in this video that make this stand out from just any other acoustic guitar. A um, couple really cool features on it. And even without those, I have to say I am extremely impressed with the guitar. Um, this has nothing to do with an endorsement or just trying to promote their stuff. I'm not getting... You'll see I'll put a link to their website, but there, I don't have like a what do you call it, an affiliate link or something. I'm not getting paid just because you buy one of their guitars. I'm not pushing their stuff. I'm just giving an honest review. I've had offers in the past to do endorsement reviews and uh, where I get a free instrument. And when it was something I haven't tried before, I'll tell them, like, sure, I'll do it, but I'm going to be brutally honest. If there's something I don't like about it, I'm going to say it. And they didn't like that, so that didn't happen. And, so, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, I'm going to run through the specs first. Uh... I have to look at my cheat sheet because there's no way I'll memorize all that. So the top is solid, solid Engelmann spruce top. Very nice. It's got a gloss finish, high gloss finish. The sides and back are selected rosewood. And I'll put some photos because I know the camera just doesn't always do justice. But it's really a beautiful guitar. Solid maple neck and rosewood on the headstock with the JN guitars engraved. And the binding's really nice. What I like is this rosette, the wood pattern. It's really nice work. Uh, rosewood bridge, and the nut and bridge are tusk. So, or I'm sorry, they're new bone, um, which is a really nice material. The machine heads, they're die cast. They, if you, I don't know if you can see in this camera, it looks like wood grain on it. It looks really cool. With the, JN logo engraved on the back. And they're very nice. They, they work very nicely. Like I said, I've, I just got it yesterday. Um, I've, been, I've actually been kind of out of practice. And I uh, threw it in a bag and we went to a, some castle ruins in Germany. I went out and found a location with very cool acoustics, put some pictures of that, and just played and recorded some footage out there. So I'll put up some playing uh, demos on, on in this video where you can hear it. And this was just like my Zoom 8 camcorder, not even at an optimal distance. It was a bit further just to kind of make it look nicer for the scenery. And I mean, it just picked up nice, has awesome sound. Got home and I recorded a song right away with it. So uh, just really fast, threw a mic in front of it and...
I'm used to, I have quite a few acoustic guitars from mid-range, name brand, to very cheap ones. And usually I end up like having to throw a lot of, doing a lot of processing on it to try to make it sound decent. And this was like, I started to throw reverb on it and I was like, no, it doesn't need it at all. Very little, if any. No, I, I took the reverb off. It sounded, it just had a great sound. Um, so, oh, maybe, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to be doing a few videos on this. I don't have to, but I want to because I feel there's so much to cover on this. And also, I just got it yesterday, so uh, this is covering more just the specs and a little bit of playing on it so you can hear it. And um, once I have a bit more time with it, then I can, you know, kind of do more in-depth reviews, and I'm going to do some kind of separate on this whole neck system that's installed. So, as I mentioned, there's a couple things, other than it being just a great-sounding guitar, there's a couple things that... Um, really got me interested in this one that's pretty cool i i mean in theory it was cool i had to check it out myself to be convinced is there's a sound hole here at the top so when you're playing that is projecting right at you and it's it does make a very nice difference i, I really found that to be just really cool feature and you'll see the sound hole here it's kind of strange there's a piece of wood there um, it also projects very nicely through here and that is because it has a patent from a neck system by River Song Guitars. And it's called Neckology. It's when I saw it, I was like blown away. I had to try it. And it's actually the, the neck goes all the way through the body. So there's no tension, string tension on the soundboard. And that allows it to vibrate more freely. Um, and in the back, we have the system here. There's a hole here where you use a hex head wrench to adjust it and that will adjust the neck angle upwards or downwards so you can easily adjust the action and that is super cool because I do a lot of alternate tuning and guitar you can get one that's just set up perfect but after a year or so it needs an adjustment and that's the thing I always hated with acoustic guitars is you can't just adjust the action like on an electric guitar by moving some screws. It's it's a lot of work. And um, you can do so much with a truss rod, but uh, yeah. So that is something really cool. Uh, out of the box, it's playing really good. So I have not played with this yet. I'm gonna say that for another video where I do some open tuning and stuff where I'm gonna really just test the limits on that and see how, how well it works. Uh, videos I saw on it, you can check it out for River Song Nickology. It's a super cool system. Um, unfortunately, the owner told me they're gonna be discontinuing these models with the neck system. So, I mean, you can still find them online. Um, I've seen some used, but I also saw like a few online stores that sell them and some, they were out of stock. So the one I originally picked out was the acoustic electric version. They had one left in the inventory and there was a mistake in the inventory and they didn't have it anymore. So I had to just settle with the acoustic version. And honestly, I have no problem with it. And a, a guitar that sounds this good, I have no reason to plug it in. I'm not playing live with it. If I'm recording, I want to use a microphone. You're going to get, you know, the best sound that way. And when I have acoustic electric, sometimes I get lazy and just plug it in uh, just to do something quick where I, after I do it, I regret it and wish I would have just mic'd it like, I, like it should be done. Um, so yeah, it's, it's an amazing sounding guitar. It plays really nice. From what I gather, just looking quickly on a website, uh, I think their suggested retail cost of this is 647 euro. That's what one website selling it said. So you can find them a bit cheaper if you find them because I, I wouldn't wait too long if you want one because like I said, they're discontinued. I did see some used for cheaper, but you know, used can be hit and miss. Um, so I'll look at like the pros and cons of it. The pros, um, out of the box, it played almost perfectly. Uh, setup is very nice, very easy action with no adjustments. And like I said, that neck system and the sound hole and just the overall sound of it, it's, it's the best acoustic guitar I have hands down and I have some known brands some mid-range and some really cheap stuff and this thing just blows them all away um, I think some of the guitars I have cost 
lasted more than this does, and it's a difference of night and day how much better this sounds. I can compare this to guitars that I've played that costed a lot more than this, that it's still, for me, it, it would, I'd go to this one. All right, so cons, I had to really think long and hard for this, you know. I like to try to uh, have some kind of constructive criticism. Um, only con I could find, really, was there was one string. Can't find it now. It was so subtle. The pick, it's maybe easier to find. There it is. A little tiny bit of fret buzz at the ninth fret of the E string. Very, very subtle and very simple to fix. And, I mean, it was shipped in summertime right now and it's humid so that's you know that before they had it shipped they had the luthier do a setup on it final setup it came almost perfectly in tune which was all right that's fine because it got here very fast uh, they shipped it monday arrived yesterday on wednesday so um of course things are going to settle that's normal but i mean that is like i'm just being super super nitpicky to find the slightest bit of fret buzz on one fret on one string and that's only if i pluck a little bit harder barely hear it. That's super, super easy to fix with this neck system or even a maybe just a tad bit of relief on the truss rod. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'll do a different video where I'm going to be diving in more with this neck system. And I did record a lot of footage yesterday at the Castle Ruins where I've got to edit. I'll put some in this video and I'm going to continue to do it more. I don't have to do that many, but when I like something this much, I like to do videos on it. Honestly, with this whole corona thing, I, I had to change jobs. I uh, got into a lot of different hobbies, and I found myself not practicing as much as I normally do. So I was totally out of practice. I played so much yesterday, my fingertips are totally raw. Um, so when I get a new instrument, that's good. That's what I love about it. It gets me inspired to play more, to write, to, to just play it and practice. Um, even made me clean up my studio a little bit which really needed it so i'm going to be spending the rest of my day off playing around with this as far as my fingers can handle it they're very sore but that's the price to pay for not practicing um, so enough on that that's like the basics of this it's a i mean i am really really happy with it i cannot express that enough beautiful looking guitar it's uh maybe a slight bit heavier than my other acoustics and that's because that whole, that neck system going all the way through the body which it's not like it's uncomfortably heavy or something it's just you feel a little bit more weight to it um feels like it, it's just really really nicely made um hopefully i can get some good photos i can put up to really show to do it justice so that's it i'm going to put up some videos now of just some improvised playing over it these natural acoustics of the castle walls and 
hope you enjoy hit like hit subscribe hit that bell notification i'll have some more videos up on this in the near future and probably post some songs i've recorded and will record with it till next time Thank you.